Uh, because Ethan couldn't find the post office, he has a Hail Mary strategy. Look at this food. Wait, I have an idea. <clears throat> and I clears his throat. Look at this fruit bowl. It's covered in mold. How can anyone serve it like this? And summons Gordon Ramsay himself. Yeah. Like, he just busts through the wall of Dimitrescu's castle like the fucking Kool-Aid man. And then he picks up an apple covered in mold and just eats it slowly, just saying, no, just as so I thought, this was microwaved. So, like, he was making a map, but he only put down village in all caps. No other landmarks, just village. What? Well, then it says, uh, don't worry, I have a map of the village. Yeah. What is this piece of shit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It's not a windmill over there? No, it doesn't have a windmill over it. It couldn't possibly be. This isn't a map. It's just a sketch from a mountaintop with the word village on it. <laughs> yeah. This isn't a map at all. It's just a bag of flaming dog shit with the word bitch written on it. What? Well, you think that's what the werewolves are going to do? Like there's, even though they don't have a doorbell, the doorbell rings. Like, well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then he's like, I think it's a doorbell. But we don't even have one of those. I'm going to check it out. And it's just, the werewolves have left like a flaming bag of dog shit in front of them. <laughs> Wait, well, I thought we were leaving it for more of a Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably where you were going from. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> right, let's... um. Pay no attention to the woman behind the curtain. The oh, okay. And he, like, stands there. Ethan, you can come in. Oh, right. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that it's the werewolves that are gonna get you all killed. Not if I kill us all first. And he takes yeah. out a gun. No, we talked about this. Oh. Oh, God. no one drinks like Anton, no one swings like Anton, no one murders the rest of the village like Anton. What? No one's <laughs> incredibly thick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, he's the office jig- <laughs> he's the- sorry, the village gigolo or something. Yeah. Bitch. And you. He's paid to be the loud American. No, I thought that's just him when he's drunk. He's- yeah. uh, his part-time job is the village gigolo. Yeah, the problem is he's always fucking drunk. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. I'm not this dead yet. Damn. You will be in a few hours if I have anything to say about it. I can't believe he died. I'm actually, I think, actually, I think my injuries are quite minor. I might join it. No, 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 no. No, I need to rest. Let me pull one out for you. you are all and like pouring it over his like nose and holding his... <laughs> yeah. <and> then... <laughs> I thought it was going to go the other way. Like he just breaks the bottle on the table so he has his shiv. <laughs> Anton, no, we've talked one about this. Stop murdering the survivors. <laughs> but if I murder all of the, the men, everyone will have to breathe with me. Anton, you're sterile. Fuck off. They kept coming. Wait, oh dear. No, I was about to say that. You know we're all related to you. Did Fuck. No. Didn't think of that. All right, new plan. Ethan, you're not related to me. <laughs> Somewhere. Yes, but I'm a man. You think that's going to stop me? Yeah, but it's not about the result. It's about the destination. He went to fetch. Uh, is it? No, destination is a journey. Look, no, no, no. That's what he says because he's that drunk. Yeah, and <laughs> Ethan's looking at his ring. Uh, he's like, I don't know if you can see it through the bandages, but I'm married. Your wife doesn't have to know. But no, no, we're getting off topic here. Oh, the guy comes in. What happened to you? Oh, I tripped over a doorknob. No, he tripped over a landmine someone left in his uh, doorway. Yeah. And because it oh, happened to him. Now, because the other guy saw what happened to him, he, was, he knew to step over the landmine. Yeah. You know, because werewolves like to leave landmines in front of their houses, so when they try and come out for safety, uh, they get blown up. Hang up, hang up, we've got to pray to the Dark Lord Chinchin to come and save us. Just like they have to sacrifice enough chromosomes to make Chinchin fight Mother Miranda. Yeah, and when in this, is he one of the four gods or? No, he's just like a subcontractor. They occasionally like the subcontract god duties too. Crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall I mean, she's us. the one unleashing the plague, but sure, go for it. What the are you doing? Leonardo, I just heard your breath. You can hear muttering. Ravioli, ravioli. Turn me into werewolf Oli. Wait, oh. I fucking told you that's where it was going. Oh, I knew. I seen the... I can take him. I can. No, you can't take him. The house is already on fire. 
I'm very durable. I've got asbestos on these clothes. What, you're wearing asbestos? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, let me shoot you. Damn it, maybe I shouldn't have so much to drink. Ugh. Ugh. I had like five painkillers, it's fine. Elena? The real problem is the sandwich that Ethan has on the way in. He has a sandwich? Oh, is that they kept him passive in the back of the van? Yeah. Oh, crap. They gave him a ham sandwich. Wait, so this whole time he's been dealing with that. No wonder he's been like struggling to hit them. He's has balls off the sandwich. Yeah. Suddenly, her father realizes the implications of the falling real estate prices. Place is collapsing. <laughs> oh god! Well, he's a house flipper. Yeah, he's killing everyone in it, so the house is now empty, so he can do it up and sell it on. They just turn around and he's at the window. I'm still alive in here. Help me! Together. Like becoming a werewolf, giving him an abnormally high-pitched voice. That's the real reason they're trying to kill everyone who suddenly don't find out the shocking truth. Well, it reminds me of a very old Tumblr post where someone said, imagine like Gang of Wales, this one guy instead turning into a wolf, turns into a chihuahua. Yeah. But he's the leader of the pack. As if someone, like, drew it. Oh god, druids are fucking strange, though. Like... That one wizard from in The Hobbit, he's basically your average druids in a D&D quest. What, the Radicus the Brown? Yes. Ah, good keys. I figured there was something in there. Really? Do, yeah. Because, I, I, honestly, I thought there was going to be like a concealed shiv, but a screwdriver is much more useful. As a shiv? I mean, yeah, but also now... We can unhawk the pan. Well, no, uh, imagine that Ethan going, look at us now, sir. Huh, glad I don't need this anymore. Just throws away. Now I got a real weapon. The screwdriver. Ethan, why'd you throw the knife away? Well, that's nothing compared to the screwdriver. <coughs> Probably gonna have to do like a quick time thing to um, fix the truck. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Because that worked so well for you in the last game, Ethan. He wasn't trying to bust out. I mean, he might as well have been. Hit the gas. But Ethan, it's in reverse. Ethan, I'm behind the car. <laughs> then why did you get behind the car? Because I thought you were going forward. Honestly, this is just me trying to leave the house at 3 a.m. The scariest hour of them all? Yep. Wait, so the uh, car flipped just to flip back again? Right? Yeah, it's fine. If we hit the gas hard enough, we can get up the stairs. There isn't any time. Oh shit. The depressing part is it turns out that we accidentally hit a load-bearing pillar while in the truck. Ethan, I've heard that fire hurts and if you get set on fire, it could kill you. Is that true? No, no, that's only if you're in Korea. Let's move. Well, no, most people are allergic to fire. Uh, some people are kind of immune. Also, I can just sit in fire and I'll be fine. No. I don't think that you're one of the ones that's immune. How will we know if we don't try? And she's like putting her hand in the fire. Oh, that's good. I can't feel a thing. I see like the palm of her hand is just black. <laughs> so maybe I am one of the ones that's immune. Oh, she's dead. She's not getting out of this house alive. What do you think, Matt? I mean, yeah, not the village is full of monsters. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can. We're gonna get around the building, and then she's gonna get I'm eaten like she's fucking immediately. Castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death, and I don't want to be alone while your father. I'm still alive. Elena, no. Get out of the house. I'm a house flipper. I want to resell it, rent it out. He said my name, father. Wait, it's not safe. Uh. <laughs> Most convoluted way to kill her off. Stay there. Come on, give me your hand. She could jump off his back. Yeah, but like she won't. Ethan, go. Save your daughter. Elena, don't give up. Reach for me. God damn it. Ethan, I don't think I'm immune. 
<laughs> Why, does it hurt? Yeah, kind of all over. Why is everyone When I die, please sell my body off as beef jerky. I just find it at the end of the game, like the fire's out and she's just like, man. That yeah. was rough. <laughs> she walks, she walks <laughs> out of the house like charred black. Like Dio. Still... <laughs> no, I just meant at the end, it's like Dio, but it's that night where she's still under the building, just a black and hospital somehow still alive. and just like, God damn it. I don't think I'm immune from fire. Just... <laughs> yeah. Oh. But she's just unexpectedly durable. Oh, fucking hell. Why would you look back? Get out of the house. This place has gone mad. No shit. What fuck is this happening again? What? Oh! Yeah, no, oh, that had fucking hurt. Shit. Yeah! That's he's slamming it, but he's missing kind of those fingers. So he's slamming against just open flesh. Yeah, but that's going to be a fuck ton of exposed nerve. I genuinely thought that was gonna let me go back into the burning house. I was like, I know, I can still save her. Goes back in. And then, uh, in heaven. Wow, how did I get here? You went back into a burning building, you idiot. Was it stupid ways to die or something? If Castlevania has taught me anything, it's that we can just hide in the toilet for a bit. Hide in the toilet? It works for Count Saint Germain. Right, let's, um. Oh, who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Ah! Hey! Ooh! <laughs> yeah, she does look like the sorceress. Good, she's got crow powers. What was, what was well, so when he goes into the castle, he just in the castle just sees one of the attendants. Is it? Wait, there's a toilet here? But I can't see any toilet paper. Toilet paper? What the fuck is toilet paper? It's Chinese, Mother Miranda, good morning. <laughs> oh, I love the fact that like he heard the peasant yell, Mother Miranda, please stop, and his first reaction was, who was that? <laughs> you know, that Mother Miranda can probably hear him, just is ignoring him. Yeah, no, it's fine, Mother Miranda, like, because she spliced herself with crow DNA, Mother Miranda has a compulsion to do back alley surgery occasionally. When she spliced herself with crow DNA. Well, I'm assuming that she spliced herself with crow DNA, considering she just turned her hand into a fucking wing. Dead. Huh? Yes. Have you seen the shit? Look, it's a picture of Tony Hawk in his prime. <laughs> what? But she just gets born and starts doing all sorts of shit on the ground. Yeah, like, she thinks that she's drawing Picasso level masterpieces, but really it's the same circle the feet is inside it. How long until she starts drawing, like, um, uh, Dave's weird comic from? No, that's pretty much the entire thing. Oh, god, hang on, where's the typewriter? Oh, this would have been useful five minutes ago. Where is that typewriter? Uh, better send a message to get help. That's typing a little letter. Right, now this get a stamp. Right. Now I just need to send it to the post office. It's first class, so hope should arrive within 24 hours. He looks at the map. It just says village. Wait a minute, I can't find the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, there's that pond down the drain. I know. He sees a bird. Take this to America. Find Chris Redfield. <laughs> That's just a random, like, Romanian bird who's never been to America. <laughs> yeah, but it still tries really well, fucking... So flying all the way over there and it takes like a whole week and then finally it arrives at Chris Redfield and just, what's this bird? Do you have a message for me? This is Ethan Winters. Go to Romania. Yeah. He wrote this a week ago. Is he still there? I mean, better fucking me because if not, he's in trouble. Is it set? Good, it's set. There we go. How the fuck does she get out of the house to buy groceries? Nothing but blood and death. Like, uh, secret entrance? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Like, who locked that? Was it Mother Miranda? Is she- Oh god, yeah, no, they actually have a door of a big ass demon on the front to keep Lady D in the castle, because it's a well known fact that she's the village f And she'll, like, death by snoo snoo the entire village if she can leave the castle. Yes. They just get too horny. We've accidentally awoken the beast. And you let me through the gate! She requires various uh, uh, sacrifices to keep associated. Otherwise, she might wander into the village and just start picking out people. She'll just go, um, yes, I'll have you, you, and, uh, ooh, definitely you. What, you want us, you're scheduling for the next few days? Oh no. I'm oh, scheduling for the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> then afterwards, it's just like, as I said, like, epic movie, just her and, like, uh, three other people in the bed just saying, wow. You can't feel anything right now. 
Oh my god, it's him! Incident reviewer and comic book personality, Linkara! <laughs> this is just the universe where he gets fucked up because Chump threw him out of the cold water's jacket. Yep. What? He got uh, hypothermia of the brain and it made him insane. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? He's got magnet powers. He's read so many comic books that he thinks he's Magneto, so therefore he gets the powers. Why did you leave the metal pins to him while you were dragging him? He's just like, we need to get some cross fit in. Dragging <laughs> you and all of the metal. You know, if he's missing a couple of fingers, he should be able to slip one hand out of those restraints. Yeah. The other Wolverine game where he did that at the start is the Xbox game based on um, X-Men Origins. Yeah. Because the game opens with him just stripping all the flesh off his hands. Oh, good. So we've got little Cal from Homestuck, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Linkara from the top of the fourth wall, and um, the village f***ing yeah. Wait, you'll screw around with him in private? Yeah. Oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yeah, yeah, because the man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Death by Snoozu? Yeah. I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my. I don't think that's a dress. I think that she's actually just using her powers the to make more crow wings. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal. I just I love the idea. He's so short. He calls the hunchback a hunchback man, get over here. And then he stands on the back of him so that he can be at eye level with her. Oh, God. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well done. Oh, keep drawing. One day your head might actually fit your ego. Hey, don't I get a say in this? Silence! Yep, she is using her wings as a dress. <laughs> Remember from whence you came. Thank you. And suddenly we have an orgy audience. An audience, we were about to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say, for the first round, Ethan, you're going to fuck all these people. <laughs> what? No, this, see, I'm just mortal man. I can't go them anywhere. I figured, I figured the idea was they were there to watch and film it. Oh, <laughs> Lady D. Get ready. Like face planting. No, oh dear. Just massive ominous countdown. Time to go. One of them's not even a werewolf, like one of them's a guy immune to the mold who just has to wear like a discount fursuit to fit in. Day 23, the village still hasn't realised I'm not infected. Oh, they know he's not one of them, they just admire his dedication to the cause. Can you imagine the fucking conversation going on in the room above? Like, well, now, you, now you've let him go, you idiot, what are you gonna do? The same thing I do every day. I'm gonna review a comic book while the werewolves chase him. <laughs> <laughs> what, so that's the show he's putting on? Yeah. He needs a uh, like, plot for his show? Uh, like, this is storyline in between Linkara's comic book reviews. Oh, God. He just so, uh, mother uh the Lady Tresco wants uh, him as a boy toy, uh to satisfy it, but uh they can't really need him for his video. Yeah. Uh oh, like just while this is going on, he's in another room reviewing um Marvel Zombies versus the Evil Ted. Time to go. Time to go, stands up. Wait, I don't think I can get through this hole if I'm standing up. How am I going to get through it? I'm doing my best. Oh shit. Dr. Moreau? So now no, Moreau's the hunchback guy. No. Oh, please work, please work, please fucking work. <laughs> yes! I is genius! Who 
built all of it. Like, what? Did they just give him free reign to build all of this shit? He has magnet time? powers. He could probably build a lot cheaper and easier than any American engineer. And it was just like, how much time do you think they spent building this elaborate set of tunnels? And just think of that in the Watchmen film with uh, who's oh, the blue for guy? Fuck's sake, Dr. Manhattan. Hang Dr. On. Manhattan was able to just build and unbuild everything very easily. Oh, God. Depends on how strong his magnetism is. Hmm. It's like, can he just move large objects or can he move precise shit? Good, right. Have fun storming the castle, Ethan. The storming the castle. Yeah. Heisenberg takes, like, forever to move because he's going to film, like, six comic book reviews before he can go kill Ethan. <laughs> like, he's a week's worth of backlog. <laughs> Wait, is oh. that how Ethan escapes him? Just because he can't kill him yet, he has to keep giving him like, opportunities to escape. Yeah. So later on in the conversation, that fool Heisenberg let him escape. All because he only got up to episode eight. He planned ten episodes. Ten episodes of just, like, one hour of actual footage. Look, Donald Trump took my house keys when he took my jacket. We've got to make two of no props. <laughs> so he moved to Romania and became the lord of a village. Yeah, yeah, okay. Excellent. Because <laughs> um, when Donald Trump had his fans take his jacket, he had his house keys in the jacket, so he had to just, like, start fresh. And then he accidentally got the virus. <laughs> A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say that castle arouses. Ah uh, yes, as we've already established. Not as much suspicion as this wagon, though. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here. I'm but a humble merchant. Bombs, lamp oil, rope. It's yours, my friends. If you have enough rupees. Oh dear. Anything you desire, I can provide. Before you go into the castle, Ethan, I must warn you, be wary of my father if you see him. He was very hungry. <laughs> but that would make your father, yes, Academy Award winner Marlon Brando. I'm his secret love child, you see. I gained his most uh, bountiful assets. They look just like him, don't you think? I have nothing to sell. Um, extra baggage, fuck's sake. That, that's a point. So is Ethan just lugging a suitcase around with him? Like... Well, I think it's like Resident Evil 4, where he has a giant suitcase, doesn't it? A Tasha, yeah. We've got no money. Finished? Are you sure you have How many healing items do you have? Um, one, two. Yeah, if you look, it is a suitcase. It's not a backpack, it is a suitcase with the handle on top. Oh, Christ. So is he basically <laughs> Hitman, just running around doing all this? Um, I was well, going to throw the suitcase. Is that the ultimate weapon? Yeah, I was going to say he accidentally bought like the suitcase that he was supposed to bring his vacation stuff with, and now he's just improvising. Like he still has his swimsuit in there for no fucking reason. Could Rose be here? Hang on a sec. Let me just um, smack. Oh, she's going to be pissed when we run into a laser. You come into my house and smash up my antiques. Yeah, I thought you caught, uh, you. I thought you had pork chops in the lights. Why would I keep pork chops in the lighting? This is a vampire castle. There's always pork chops in the walls. How funny would it be if you actually could break that wall? <laughs> I'd actually have to end the stream right there if the wall broke and there was a Castlevania pork chop. Okay, those names are probably a reference to something. Good, she does dealings with the Duke. Could you, uh, he's probably the weapons player for the entire village. Probably. And the castle might be his biggest customer. Like, oh Christ, the, the, like the Duke. The Duke has fucking gall. Because he's doing business with Dimitrescu while also selling Eve and shit to kill her with. Mm-hmm. Well, he probably is doing under strict orders from Linkara because he, <laughs> yeah. he needs to string it out even more. That's why uh, That's why uh, Lady Utrescu is so pissed off with them. It's like, you even told the Duke to give him weapons. I need content. If you Hang on a second. No, hang on. Let me test something real quick. Oh, no, fuck, the door's locked. 
What, you're going to go back and kill him or something? I was going to see if I could put act- if I could point the gun at the Duke, because I wasn't paying attention earlier. You could just go back to that save. Nah. That's, like, way too much effort to do in the middle of a live stream. Sorry, I thought there was shit down there, Steel. Can you imagine just uh, Lady Dumitrescu looking at him from uh, the balcony? Just Ethan smashing everything, getting out of his suitcase, and just <laughs> yeah. shoving everything <laughs> in it. That's magic suitcase. Like, ooh, pork chops, let me just shove this in here. Yeah, he looks absolutely psychotic. Oh dear. Ah, God, Lady Demetrasko unleashes a deadly bee weapon. Bees, my God. I think they're supposed to be coffin flies, if I'm honest with you. Man blood. We tasted plenty of food from a man, but never his blood before. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. <laughs> Ethan getting repeatedly stabbed. Just wow, this man takes a lot of punishment. It's like the wolf effect, except he's not strong. Mm. Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. Now, I need him in one piece. How the fuck did she get there so fast? Let's like, we only just this. left. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? He's constantly doing this, saying that he needs more subs on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. The Doom streams just aren't doing it enough for him anymore. Wait, how tall are you? Oh god, are you gonna force me to have sex with you? And uh, several times a night? Well, that was my idea, but wait, you can't do that. I mean, you'd have to use that bed, you'd have to make me want to do it. And then she's looking at him. Starting to go stale. What? I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, no, that seals it. I'm fucking around. calling it now. He's infected. Later. Well, there will be enough for everyone. Now, let's see. As I'm <laughs> the oldest, I'm your mother. I get to do him first. And then the beautiful sister. Then the strong sister. Then the tall sister. Then the beautiful sister again. And then me. Oh, also crucify him. Too Jewish. She's not like they're not even gonna like kill him. They just want new wall decoration. <laughs> Well, he's going to say, uh, what? Why are you crucifying me? I'm a Buddhist. <laughs> yes, I know, but you reflect the light on that one patch of wall so well. It really ties the room together. Why do you think I, uh, I, why do you think I'm high as bulls? Because someone drugged you with a sandwich? Well, yes. Where's the fucking struggle button? Oh, there'll be a struggle session later on. Come on, Ethan, rip the scythe blade for your entire hand. As in, oh. as in Ethel will struggle against uh, Lady Dumitrescu. Oh, that's painful to watch. Like, ah. Oh. Wait, did he lose another finger? No. Crazy it's one was bitten off entirely, one was bitten off down to a stump. So he's got two on his left hand plus the thumb. What does it always happen to his hands? Because it's the easiest way to show damage while we're in a first person game. Oh. Kit, like, the alternative is stabbing the feet, which we just did. Nice of her to just casually have that on the side, though. I'm just head cutting out the first aid stuff as more alcohol. Well, it's just... Well, alcohol solves everything. Yeah, okay. I need vodka. If I know, if I pour vodka over my broken flesh, it'll magically just heal. That's why everyone in, like, Poland and Romania is so healthy. They drink so much vodka. They live to like 120 years old on, on average. You know, there's actually some truth in that though. What? Because of um. Yeah, like because you take less damage if you're drunk, because your body is too dumb to tense up. No, that's different from healing damage to taking less damage. No, I'm just saying though. Like, there's minor bits of truth there. Because your body's so loose, you don't try and absorb the damage. You go with it, and so you. Because I've seen something like that where it's like people surviving plane crashes or some shit because they don't lock up. It's locking up which forces all the damage through your body. Yeah, yeah, it's mouldy. Yeah, it's, I couldn't tell it was mouldy or covered in blood. No, that's mouldy. Like, you think of all of the money that she, like, really? 
Just throw the fruit out if you're not going to buy fresh fruit. No, I'm saying, uh, because Ethan couldn't find the post office, he has a Hail Mary strategy. Look at this fruit. Wait, I have an idea. <clears throat> and I clears his throat. Look at this fruit bowl. It's covered in mold. How can anyone serve it like this? And uh, through a window, Chris Redfield comes in and says, What? No, 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 no. No, it's summons Gordon Ramsay himself. Yeah. <laughs> like, he just busts through the wall of Dimitrescu's castle like the fucking Kool-Aid man. And then he picks up an apple covered in mold and just eats it slowly, just saying, no, Just as that- I thought. This was microwaved. <laughs> yeah, and then Ethan's like, oh, while you're here, Mr. Ramsey, could you please deliver this letter to America? <laughs> oh, God. And Gordon Ramsey's like, yes, but first I have to go and sue Civvy 11. He's been using too many of the Gordon Ramsey clips lately. Then later on, he gets him to, he busts him out of the basement and he says, look, there's some blood. It's served cold. What? Now everyone knows you serve blood hot. I mean, let me get a uh, taste. And then has a spoon and eats it. Is this fresh or is this frozen? He's saying to uh, Lady Jessica, oh, it's freshly frozen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking raw. <laughs> Look at there this. There we go. Look at this. And he like, turns the plate upside down. If I can do this, it can't be very fresh, can it? It's frozen <laughs> fucking solid. And like, bashing the plate against her arm. Well, we're trying to because it'd be like, that. <laughs> like, Gordon Ramsay can just freely assault Lacey Timotrasca. Oh, yeah, she's because, intimidated. Yeah, by. everyone's intimidated by Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Oh, God. I wasn't expecting that to be open, but I'll take it. Ah, good. She's keeping asses in the desk drawers. Yeah, well, uh, maybe it's near a bathroom in case uh, she needs to replace the acid in it. Oh, it was nice of her to leave all of our fucking guns. I can make use of this. Right, unlock that. I wonder, would Lady Dumitrescu be able to uh, eat the big smoke order? Oh, she'd definitely be able to eat the big smoke order. God knows she's tall. Friendly reminder that Lady Dumitrescu is canonically taller than a goddamn Warhammer Space Marine. Really? Yeah, because they're only like eight foot tall. <laughs> okay, we're going to need to find the heads of those statues. We meet again. I ah, get good. that, Duke. Why are you here? Where Here's the Duke. He just teleports. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. Not yet. We're still looking. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chamber. Wait, so the room that she was sitting in with the wine and the massive crucifixion wall wasn't her private room? No, that was a guest bedroom. <laughs> yeah, the private room is just like a mini BDSM club. Well, no, what she does is she's there to um, make sure the man is good enough for him. Then, when he can survive a couple of rounds with her and her daughters, that way she knows she's got a good catch and invites him to her annual oh, bed chambers. Oh, oh, oh. I thought the eyeball was going to roll around that like a marble. <laughs> Well, like a fucking marble. Yeah, book. look, that's clearly like Marble Madness. Look. Oh god, it is. I remember playing that. What back in like middle school? Yeah, a board game. You know, like fifteen years ago. You know, recently they made a Marble Madness two. What? Yeah, they made a sequel. So a bigger gap between games than Kingdom Hearts. They're still actually making Marvel Madness 1. Like, it's that popular that they can still afford to make it. <laughs> He's just casually like, yes, I'll just take that with no... The Duke's just like, I'll buy it, no questions asked. She can't do anything to hurt me. What are you buying? <laughs> just something an old friend of mine. Nice! <laughs> so he knows the other guy. Oh, that's beautiful. That's actually beautiful. Well, so... Do all these like gun runners just know each other? And said, "Oh yes, you were in Spain, weren't you?" Yes, I got around a lot. Yes, how the hell do you get around a lot? You're three times the size of me. Oh, I can tell a lot. <laughs> if you think about it, though, the Duke probably actually is. St- yeah. Okay. Now, look at him. No, 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 no. he looks quite tall as well. No, like, like you can like you can hold your weapon on him though, which is um, which you can't do on regular NPCs. Hmm. So do you want to save it and then see what happens? Oh, I just saved a bit. Here is my thing. I think that the Duke might actually be stronger than Lady Demetraska. What, a hidden super boss? No, I don't think he's a super boss. I just think that, like, in-universe he's stronger than her. Because, like, a Duke 
like, fun fact, in a hierarchy, a duke is one rank above lord. You are the duke, A number one. So I don't know, maybe it's like a fifth mole's experiment or something, but much like the vi much, like, this is my theory, is that he's also a mole's experiment, but much like the villager from Resident Evil, he keeps all of his faculties. Hmm. And it's hard to tell because he's sitting down, but he seems to be just as tall as Leo Dumitrescu. Hmm, if not taller. Well, do you think he's got, like, Kevlard? Uh, he learned after his father that strategy, and that, combined with the mould, means that if anyone tries to shoot him, he'll do, like, jack shit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of disappointed that there's nothing in there. There's a boot on the ground. Fucking adamantium teapot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just echoing down the hallway. Ethan, you'll never break that. It's made out of bulletproof ceramic. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Find a lockpick, grab the stuff from the drawer. Wine room. Go up with more cam fluids. <laughs> oh, God. sometimes it's the only thing that'll make the um, taste go down. We need a wine bottle for that to open up the hidden door, because that's obviously a hidden fucking door. Mm -hmm. It's an old castle, there's always a hidden fucking door. So as they say in Germany, if you can't go wrong, you go right. So let's go this way down the hallway. I think it's Germany where they say that. Oh, and ravioli, I'm right. <laughs> oh, let me just break this first. 300 lei. He goes uh, to the Jesus. Like, I've got like three thousand lei. What's that in US dollars? About like, fifty quid. Yeah. What about fifty dollars? Oh shit! What's with the ex exchange rate? We should run now. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up. Slice your. The, he like gets to a lock nope. and he's like getting his family photo. Come on, work, work, work! Why is my family photo unlocking this door? I can't hold back any longer. Just trying to steal as much shit as possible. After Laura. Oh no, I'm running for my life. Ooh, that's valuable. Uh, Fuck. Uh, I thought I could lower on the table and then like get out before she hit me again. Twelve seconds later. So scary. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it takes a while to notice these crevices sometimes. <laughs> She's still after us. Is it's that an orange? It's fucking hot. No, it's Molly, it's fine. The studios are very asthma, they wouldn't bite, it's quite peculiar. The other staff are all women. For fuck's sake, she is horny for men. She, yeah. wa she wants the D some. Well, she's had to put down uh, uh, some of the village women, but the. the Oh, that's why... Uh, that, that note's from the, the playable character in the demo, by the way. The maiden. Yep. Sorry, go on. Oh, so that's why she's invited Ethan uh, there, where not very men come through the area. Um, and so she really wants to show him a good time. In the guest room, oh, shit. Uh, she was fucking him just to see if he was good enough. Now that she's determined that, she's going to invite him to her main bedroom, where she can have a way. Then hand him off to her daughters. <sighs> Okay, so once again, my brain's kicked in. You know what? The, like your brain's kicked in. Uh, 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 what? Uh, half an hour into it. Wait. Oh, I'm starting to think again. Sorry, I mean the ADD. Sorry. I Are mean, you sure you didn't have any uh, thing to drink? I mean specifically, maybe the, a high bowl of vodka. The ADD's kicked in, but like, it just reminds me of a Stephen Merchant routine of all things, where he talks about the fact that he has to stoop under doorways because he's like eleven foot. No, that was like seven foot six inches. He was Jesus. I didn't realize he was that tall. Have you not seen pictures? Have you not seen Stephen Merchant's comedy act? You'll find mostly when I'm on TV, I'm sat down a great deal, <laughs> <laughs> or just leaning on things. Hey, come in. Like Stephen Merchant's really fucking tall, and it just gets funny out when he's standing next to Ricky Gervais, because <laughs> Gervais is comically short in comparison. Trust in light. I don't get it. Maybe we should wear the cowboy hat. Then uh, the audience will tell us what to do. Well, I figured it wants me to slam this towards the thing. Fuck, I'm just going to try shooting it. Oh, okay, that way knife doesn't have enough pull, that's it. I know, I'll use a uh, photo of my family. 
Ugh. This is doing nothing. Hang on a second. Let me... Like, we need to have a look at this, because it's probably the worst fucking family photo. Why are you not in your own family photo, Ethan? He has to take the photo. Hire a photographer like a regular fucking person. There we go. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, we better not run into Slenderman. <laughs> See the black stuff on the wall? Uh, that's actually uh, residue from the acid. And then Ethan just saying, my god, Lady Petrescu really is kinky. How much do you think it would cost to buy a chastity suit like this? <laughs> <laughs> it turns out they actually... Oh, god. Help me, brother. Look at all this stuff. Hey, I'm going to try on the chastity suit first. <laughs> yeah, it turns out Ethan's just in a chastity plane his spare time. But uh, he can't get out of it, and then when the vampire comes saying, Oh, I see you're already in, in costume. Right, let's get you up to uh, to Lady Dumitrescu. Quick, get the red hot poker and shove it up there. It's not painful enough yet. Oh god, what did that man eat? Probably Dark Side Phil, if anything. Well, he ate Dark Side <laughs> yeah, Phil. He ate Dark Side Phil. Uh, it'll take like several meals to eat him. Really? All of these shelves and there's nothing to steal? Oh, I'm disappointed. It's a new game. Well, that guy's definitely not happy. No, he's missing a leg. Yeah, exactly. You see him, like, hanging there, blindfolded, missing a leg. It's the leg which really gets to him. Yeah. Otherwise, I was like, we're unstable. Oh, this will be here trying to turn more people into more doors or something. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, shit. Well, it's Lady Chesco doing get help. It's like when he rounds the corner, just yeets a body at him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I won't kill him yet, but I'll lightly intimidate him by throwing. The, ho uh, the more scared the man is, the hornier they are. The hornier the man, the more I'm satisfied. Oh, God. Only a very specific demograph. Demographic? Yeah. Is that the same guy? Yeah, it's just twin. They had to um, kill them the same way, just so they feel it by psychic link. You know, you know the well-known psychic link between twins? Where to put that once? Can't remember the title. I can't hear properly over the fucking jet engine PS4 trying to run this game, so I don't know if shit's coming <sighs> for us or not. So, in universe, is uh, Ethan just like, well, he's still a bit high off the sandwich. D is he also listening to music? Like, yeah, he's listening to like sounds of like rainfall for like 10 hours to relax, saying, it's alright, just need to calm down. Let me listen to this music. And then someone sneak up behind him. And he's confused why he isn't reacting. Oh shit. What the fuck? Good news, it's a pipe bomb. For God, that clipped me through the animation! Genius! What? Yeah! Wait, Crystal Skull? Oh god, is Kathleen Kennedy going to be involved in this? Even worse, it turns out that Lady Dimitrescu is actually subcontracted out the castle's waiting room to Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> <laughs> you seriously? Like, she's heard all about the Crystal Head vodka, so now she has an elaborate plan to lure Dan Aykroyd in because she thinks his blood's made of the stuff. Headshot. Ingrid's necklace. Um, the maiden's name, maybe? Well, it was one of the candidates, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. You remember that from like two minutes ago? Yeah, she might still be one of the candidates, though. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. How many of you people are there? Good for close range. Oh, gotta imagine how much money we can make selling the Duke all this vodka. Oh god. <laughs> no glycols. Filter through diamonds. Are you sure about that? Oh yes, 100%. <laughs> oh god. 
I think we need to crack open a bit. I think we need to crack open a bit of that after this. You still have some? Yeah. It lasts a long time. Like it's vodka. Some it like it's sterile. I can't believe Sandra caused all this mess. Oh, shit. Honestly, I just want to know if there's any significance to the name Cassandra, because it was like, she was the Greek prophet. You're tonight's main dish. I'm going to take a hit in a minute, aren't I? I just wanted to lower through the bars the other way, but apparently it's not fucking taken. Oh god, taken. Oh, he's like calling out, uh, they do ask me. Look, I don't have much in the way of money. But I have a very particular set of skills. I will use them to find my daughter and kill you. <laughs> you oh, no, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and it's time for the first mini boss of the game. <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <laughs> Can you shut the, shoot out the other windows? Good plan! Honestly, my plan is to just try to knife her to death. Like good old RE7 Jack flashbacks. How dare you bear your teeth at us! Not like this! This can't be! I'll slice your throat and stop. I really need to remember that we have a block, but at some point I keep getting like hyped up in the moment. I'll just keep what? that and sell it later. Crystal torso. I'll just keep that and sell it later. It's crystal. The Duke can break it down and make Romanian necklaces out of it. It's well, like, hmm, this also reminds me of one of Lady Dutrescu's daughters. You wouldn't happen to have killed her to get this. Oh, no, why would you say that? Whatever, as a merchant, I'm bound not to tell on the customers. Oh, excellent. There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Really? Really, game? I'm like 80% sure that's Latin for virgin blood. So of course she likes virgins. That's why she went after Ethan. You know, the man who has a kid she just kidnapped. <laughs> oh dear. I'll take it. Nice. Now we just need to replace that handle because it looks like shit. What disposable lockpicks was well, this Skyrim? Yeah, they weigh a lot. Kurt, like, unlike Jill Valentine, he's not the master of unlocking, so he only gets one. Oh, sorry, none of us have been paying attention to the chat. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Who dropped off the radar after the last Indiana Jones Ka film? Kathleen Kennedy dropped off the radar oh. after the last Indiana Jones film. Kathleen Kennedy also has a disease that requires it to drink human blood. And, like, I think that's the general gist of it. Hang on a second, I need to steal more. Sorry, John, we're really bad at paying attention to the chat when we're in the thick of this. Oh, God. Was that how she passed the lone night watching the thick of it? <laughs> yeah. I think this is a documentary. Yeah, she thinks it like she's watching it and taking notes so that when she has enough daughters, she can conquer Scotland. I'm likely to use an awful lot of what we would call violent sexual imagery. I got a second. There's a door upstairs which needed the wine, wasn't it? Yeah, but like, if I go back over here, then, um... Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. He just does a big sign on the door that says no girls allowed with Lady G's face. Like, cross sell What, will not serve this customer? <laughs> yeah. Like, she has the same thing that Mr. Rax has where she won't come into the room. I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. <laughs> Excellent. Fuck, mine's a shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. Uh -huh. But how you leave shotgun rounds on people's doorstep? Wouldn't it be better to 
Leave mine. Yeah, but it's like because I usually main shotgun when we play these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do. Because I've got one cam fluid to um. Right, good. Seven shots. Seven shots is more than enough to kill anything. Well, is this John Wick or something? <laughs> I was thinking more arse a lot, but yeah. Well, so Ethan starts out spinning around guns and things. Pretty much. But um, it fails horribly because he only has two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> He's thrown off his balance just a bit. Right, so he tries to turn on his left hand and ends up shooting all the bullets and only three <laughs> goes into uh, and three goes into himself. Yeah. God damn it, this works in the movies. Excellent. Ah, Lady D's private jewelry box. Good. And um, <laughs> do you think this will end up being a better Castlevania game than Konami will make in a long time? Honestly, this is already about the Castlevania game than Konami's made in a long time. We've killed one vampire already, and it's already like the best first-person Castlevania I've played so far. Mm -hmm. That it isn't the Doom mod. Yeah, on that note, I think it's about time for us to um, end the episode there. Mm -hmm. Anything that you'd like to add? What are we going to call this one? Just... I I don't know, but it's going to be fun when we get to it. Linkara funds merchant to steal vampire's wine or something. No, we're going to have to put some thought into this one. Cerebro kidnaps Ethan. Uh... Mer merchant uses Cerebro to give wine to Linkara's kidnapping attempt. Something like that. Yeah. Fuck's sake. God bless you all next time.